So your underlying energy for your love life right now is the Two of Cups. Yeah, there's a difficult decision that needs to be made, but I don't think you guys are interested in actually looking at the problem because honestly, it's a, it's a mess, right? I feel like it looks like there's somebody that's trying to come back offering you something long term, but you don't want it. I don't think you guys really want that offer. And it's because it's not the, particularly the person that you kind of want exactly. It's not exactly what your heart's desiring. So I feel like you guys are in the midst of trying to figure out what it is that you guys want. Um, but again, it's a situation you don't really, really want, want to deal with. I think it's with the next, to be absolutely honest with you. Under here, you have strength. So yeah, it's a difficult situation. Um, I think maybe this is someone maybe with a fling. This is strength, so strength can be lust, but this, I just feel like honestly, this is really just like a difficult situation. You have to remain strong for it uh, because of the two of cups. So yeah, here we go. Two people that feel the same way about each other. I think honestly, there's a lot of lust. I think there's a lot of attraction here. Um, you guys do feel the same way, but it's a difficult decision because you pretty much, I think you had to go through something difficult. Um, you had to go through um, some 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 emotionally testing time and it really had a lot of, you had to have a great deal of courage to get through it. Now for your current state of being, you have the Wheel, wheel of Fortune. Definitely there's some change going on right now or some situations happening again, mostly, I feel. Because honestly, when the Wheel of Fortune comes up, this is a second time around. This is something that's giving you another chance to look at from another perspective. You've been through it already. So what are you going to do now with what you, with, the, with the knowledge that you got um, this time? I know it's crazy. Um, and what you, where you guys want to be, right, which is completely understandable, right, is the Empress. You want to feel able to manifest what you want you want to be comfortable where you are you want to feel um in your in, in the energy of manifestation I'm, empress is very um nurturing and very caring and very um grounding in a sense very motherly and i feel like you guys want to just um enjoy where you are most importantly and kind of be able to be creative in your time in your end in your space but the thing that's keeping you from being this manifest the manifester giving birth to the, you know ideas and things like that is because there isn't something that's completed yet the world is the significant significance of something being over and wrapped up something's not done i feel like you guys want to create something new with the empress uh but something's not finished something's not over yet and i feel like that is what is going on the reason why you aren't able you guys are not able to manifest something new is because a certain cycle has not completed itself and the reason why it hasn't completed itself is because there was a lot of cautioning there was a lot of um slow movement there was a lot of you know taking your time and really looking at the situation you know being thorough but the process hasn't really moved forward much now the knight of pentacles does talk about progress any knight that you see is talking about progress but he is the slowest knight out of all of them and i know this card represents you virgo but you guys take your time and you guys really make sure that whatever you're about to get into is something you're completely aware of well, the process probably took, is taking a lot longer than it should because you guys are still trying to go with logic. You're kind of trying to practically utilize the situation. You're trying to look at the situation in a very practical sense. And I don't know if that's necessarily the right approach. I know you, there's definitely, there definitely needs to be some, you know, analyzing. That's totally fine. But when it comes to just not making the move in a timely fashion, but also, feeling being more cautious about it and taking your time because you don't really want to make a decision right now is more of procrastinating energy okay now your best path to follow is the hermit the answers rely within yourself i think you guys are looking externally or you know outside of yourself at a situation to try to make a decision but you haven't consulted your heart yet the answers lie within you and i know this is your card as well right boom you guys got two virgo cards in here so Right now is really saying to draw back, to really look within yourself and really, f you know, figure out what you need out of the situation. What is the answers? What is this relationship really trying to offer you? You know what I'm saying? And if this is something that you really want to pursue, maybe this is somebody that, you know, you knew from the past and they want, they want to try to come back, but you have some feelings about them as well. You love them, but they're not the right fit. Maybe they're not the right person for you or they are, and you just don't know how to kind of pursue that. Well, it's all within yourself do you want to pursue it because pursuing something isn't really difficult for you when you want something you guys can go ahead and go get it but if if you want it if you want to be if you want to release the singleton okay if you want to be um in a relationship or you want to commit to it most importantly the answers lie within yourself so you have to re introspect right now um let's see 
your situation emotionally, how you guys are doing in your emotions is the four of pentacles. Y'all are holding on to something. Y'all not really wanting to express yourself. You're not really wanting to kind of open up and try to take a risk. You guys are very comfortable where you are and you're not really interested in kind of making that step to go out there and make, you know, to make it known. I don't think you want to, you want to expand, which is very interesting, but you're not willing to emotionally do that. You're not willing to emotionally open up. Well, yeah, that is a hard part, right? You want to be private. You want to have your own privacy. You want to be your own person. You don't want to have to, you know, you don't want anybody, everybody in your business, especially maybe even your, you know, because you were so, you work so hard to work on yourself that you rely, you rely on yourself. You know yourself, you know, you can handle everything, but at the same time, it's almost like you want a relationship, but you don't want one because you don't want to be emotionally vulnerable with anybody. And that emotional vulnerability is what is probably keeping you from making the necessary steps to making this, you know, making this relationship happen or pursuing a relationship or not pursuing a relationship. Okay. So you guys are holding on to some, um, some stuff that you know, makes you honestly more vulnerable than it does make you strong. It's a sta it's stable, but is it truly stable enough to make you, you know, to help you make your, you know, these hard decisions? Now, with your hopes and fears, you guys have the seven of pentacles. So, yeah, you guys are trying to figure out whether this relationship is worth it or not. Whether this is a, you know, if, whether the relate, you know, the amount of effort that's needed to put into you know, that's needed into this relationship to make it work, is it worth it? Um, and that is up to you. That's something that you have to decide, okay? Because again, this is all about, you know, you. You have to look within yourself, retrospect, look within you to find the answers to that kind of question. All these questions can be answers within yourself, Virgo, but you have to trust and trust yourself and know that you have the confidence to get yourself through any situation. And that's one thing about the hermit. The hermit has confidence to know that he can find the answers within himself. He's got everything he's, he needs. But I feel like this energy is almost saying like you feel like you don't have the and the confidence. You almost don't have the you know the confidence to kind of to to kind of go to pursue in a relationship that makes you feel vulnerable because you don't you don't see all of, all sides. You are not able to maybe you're not able to you know plan ahead as much as you'd like because that's what the Knight of Pentacles Knight of Pentacles does. And I feel like with the, with the world here crossing you guys and keeping you from being able to manifest something beautiful something new um it's also about something not wrapping things up and i feel like it could be another capricorn another virgo or um or taurus but um it's very interesting i feel like this person is offering something very very concrete and very stable but you're not really i don't know i don't feel like you want i don't know if you i think you you may want this but i just don't know if this is everything yet i don't know if you really feel like this is everything don't look externally look within yourself if this is what you truly want there is work that's going to be needed in the relationship of course but is it something that you're willing to do okay now the, the knight of pentacles yes it could be you but it could be somebody else like before the knight of cups coming in with well the ace of pentacles came up with the knight of cups when i you know when i was shuffling as y'all saw and so I feel like this person that you've already known before, maybe a friend that wants more in the relationship, that could always be that as well. Um, they are offering you an opportunity to be in a relationship that is something that is going to take a lot of work and time to be very grounded, to leave behind a legacy together. So this that could be this could be this person all in a nutshell as well. Um, someone that is a water sign at Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but they have a tendency to be unreliable. They may say things in the moment, but never follow through. So that's another thing that you may not, you may feel a little bit hesitant to kind of go forth in a relationship if they're not, if they don't show consistency um, and reliability and, and um, honestly keep, keeping their word is a big problem for it, for them, okay? So that could be a little apprehension in itself, right? But again, this all comes down to this. Do you love them? Do you want to be with them? And can you make it work? Do you trust yourself and know and have the confidence in yourself to know that you can make the relationship work? Um, it's it's going to take a lot of, it, yeah, it couldn't take a lot of work. And I think you know that by what you know, but what you see here, you can see everything. So that's one of the beautiful things about you guys. You guys can see all the little details that we, that we all normally, all of us normies miss, right? Um, so you can see the cracks, the flaws and everything like that. So you know what needs to be fixed and everything but do you feel like you can do that because virgos you if you do forget you may, you may not have forgotten right now like like 
you guys are really good at making things work. You, despite how broken it can be, you know how to fix it. You know what's broken, you know how to assess it. And I feel like that this is your you know expertise. It's hard to do in your own relationships, of course, you right? It's, when it comes to everybody else's stuff, you guys are really good at doing it. But when it comes to, every, let's think about it. Being a reader and reading for myself is very, very difficult. So it's, it has to be difficult for you to really be, you know, to see the flaws and then want, you know, having to apply the necessary effort and time and patience with the person that you're dealing with in the relationship that's got to be difficult so of course you know seeing your situation as it is you're having to look at it and go oh my gosh okay this is what i need to fix but am i going to is it worth it am i going to get the rewards out of putting all this stuff in the relationship am i going to be happy here so your outcome here is temperance so you have you know keeping the balance and divine timing so things will happen when it's necessary when it when it happens pretty much you just have to kind of keep your end of the bargain do what you need to do you know handle your your handle your business and things will just kind of fall into place from there okay um so that's very i like that um that actually the outcome because considering how this the this, this situation is a little bit difficult to kind of decide what's going on decide what you want to do rather um it's pretty good to have like uh, just kind of do what you can, do what you need to, and you know focus on yourself um, throughout this entire reading, pretty much. Well, as your outcome for this reading, um, to pretty much, um, you know, let you know that no matter what you decide to do, it's going to take time, and you're just going to have to remember that divine timing will kick in when it needs to. Things will fall into place as long as you handle your half of everything. Okay, so. With that going on, let me go ahead and pull your romance angels. Wow, pay attention to the red flags. I believe Leo got this as well. Leo or Cancer. I think it was actually Cancer that got it. Oh my. You guys could be dealing with Cancers right now because Cancer got that same card. Very interesting. So red flags doesn't mean to like freak out, right? Don't look, at, don't see the red flags and go, oh my God, this is a problem. But see red flags as a way of like, of anything right this could be this could mean the the you know the stuff that would that you would see as flaws right in a relationship or for you in regards to your personal preference in, in a person red flags can be that too right but red flags can also be signs of commitment and loyalty and you know honestly things that you actually like about a person okay so just keep that in mind virgo red flags don't necessarily mean bad things Red flags just means all kinds of signs that can lead that lead you in the right direction, and there's no wrong, you know, bad or non, you know, or good sign. It's just there's a sign that really means that has a lot of significance in your situation. All right, guys, and your wisdom of the oracle is, oh wow, thinker, time to go ahead and just retract and think about things. Take your time, you know, do you as much as you can here, right? Think about your circumstance. Think about what you need to be doing for yourself. It's very similar to the, you know, the hermit card that here that you got as in your advice section. So yeah, think about things. Don't you don't have to rush. There's no rush here. But as long as you're not procrastinating and trying to just evade the situation altogether, um, because you eventually have to bring, you know, you have to carry one sword here. You got to put one of the swords down because you can't hold like hold the swords like this forever you know, crossed over your chest. So it's going to, it's going to require you to be strong and brave, right? This is a very brave thing to be vulnerable with somebody. But when you're vulnerable with someone, that is another strength and another adventure that you have to tackle for yourself, right? But you have to find the confidence and the strength within yourself to be able to get through it. And it all lies within you. So take your time, think things through. Um, Try not to procrastinate. Try not to try. To, try not to avoid this by kind of, you know, looking at every detail because you're not going to be able to just sit there and and hash out every little detail. And honestly, I mean, you shouldn't. You shouldn't try to. You should just try to go with the flow. Work on every situ every problem as it comes, because that's how relationships work, right? We're always going to hit a little hurdle or a bump in the road. We just got to figure out how to work with it. And kind of keep moving and work together at the same time all right y'all so look at the you know pay attention to the red flags and utilize and use this as a you know as things to think about to really see if you want this relationship to pursue or not